Now when it comes to fitting these two together, I like to trim these edges with a pair of scissors. Just take off the harsh, sharp edges. The easy way to do it is to put your scissors on one side and the other side, keep it flat. Keep it flat and shave it off ever so slowly. We're not trying to go too deep, too far, we're just trying to clean it up. Like so. That is now friendly to the touch. I'll clean this one up as well. two halves. That will then fit together and away we go. Just give these a quick, quick wash out and we're ready. So now we cut down C to the inside of that rim there. There it is. I've just given them a clean out. This is the tricky bit. Must be careful. Try not to cut yourself. Part B fits into part A. Just marry them up. You'll find one section doesn't want to cooperate. So just get in there. Try and do it without creasing. If you must put a crease in it, and you've got no choice, you can get away with that. Okay, very nice. Just to make sure those edges are nice and safe with the side cutters. Lean on that edge. Pressing and sliding at the same time. That'll ensure if there is any proud metal there, it'll be put back in its place. And that's safe for the touch. So there you are. One very easy to make alcohol stove. Now of course can C has been cut into that. And that then fits in there. Like so. You fill it up through there. Light it through there. Let it heat up for a minute or two. Once it heats up and the flames are 
getting quite tall. Get your cover, slide it in, and then proceed to light these edges and away you go. I'll demonstrate how this works in another video. Just look for the links and uh, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. I do thank you for watching. I appreciate your comments, your ratings and your subscriptions. Thank you very much. Till next time, that's all for now.